Hello everybody, I am Sabisachi Paul from Eastern Finances Limited. Now of late we have been hearing the term stagflation quite often. So what is this stagflation and how is it really impacting all of us? Now if we see stagflation uh, basically has three parameters, inflation, GDP growth and unemployment. Stagflation refers to an economy that has very high inflation coupled with a very slow or stagnant economic growth and a relatively high unemployment rate. Now it presents a dilemma for economic policy holders because actions which intend to lower inflation may actually push up unemployment. The term stagflation uh, was first recognized during the 1970s when many developed economies experienced rapid inflation and high unemployment as a result of oil shock. Stagflation also led to the emergence of the term misery index. Now this index is a simple sum of inflation rate and unemployment and it served as a tool to show that just how badly people were feeling when stagflation hits the economy. Now in the current global scenario, many nations are actually facing a similar situation. Now, if we see uh, what, is, what is happening say in the UK, the British economy has actually expanded by just 0.8% in the first quarter of 2022. Inflation is at a 40 year high of 7.8% and the Bank of England has actually increased in interest rates from 0.1% to 1% in the last six months. Now this again as far as UK is concerned the it is you know, experts believe that you know this is partly also because of the outcome of Brexit. But if we look beyond you know even in Germany the inflation rate is at a 40 year high of 7.4 percent. Further you know in the US again they are say facing the same problem where inflation at 8.3 percent is at a 40 year high. And over there you know unemployment rate although is steady at around 3.6 percent the economy has actually contracted by 1.4 percent in the first quarter of 2022. Now uh, if we see that the Fed has been continuously increasing rates and going ahead uh, there's an expectation that again in June another 50 basis points rate hike will happen. But you know the, at the same time there is this fear that the, such sharp rate hike might also suppress growth. Now uh, as far as India is concerned obviously we cannot be immune to the global scenario. But I firmly believe that we are, are better off. Uh, the CPI inflation uh, in India came in at an 8 year high of 7.79% in April. And uh, if, if we see that you know Morgan Stanley uh, joined the likes of IMF and UBS to slash India's GDP growth uh, forecast uh, for FY23 from around 7.6% to 7, sorry 7.9% to 7.6%. Even RBI slashed the GDP growth forecast next year to 7.2%. Uh, so although uh, we are looking at slightly lower growth still it is significantly higher than what the other developed countries are doing. And just to put things into perspective uh, in Q4 uh, numbers which came out today the GDP growth came in at 4.1 percent. So I think we are still better off as compared to some of the other nations.